so now that you've decided what type of magnet or maybe you're on the fence and you get a couple no judgment here um <laughs> no judgment here because this is now our magnet shelf the pink boxes are mine and the blue boxes uh belong to 907 outdoor adventures and um that's not all of his magnets so we don't judge you know depending on what magnets you want to buy unless you <laughs> buy brute <clears throat> we don't judge though we don't judge um but once you've decided what magnet you want to buy you have to invest in good rope and good carabiners because otherwise you're just going to lose your magnets so the magnets they sometimes come with and sometimes even the ropes come with they're usually magnetic and they're not very good so So you're going to want to either get steel or aluminum. Make sure the pull force of both the magnet and the carabiners are close to or more than the pull force of the magnet that you bought. Otherwise, they're just going to give out. Um, you also want to make sure your carabiner is a locking carabiner. There's a couple different styles. This one spins up to lock. Oh, my new personal favorite because it's pink. Uh, it's just a twist to unlock and then when it let go it locks itself so i think that's kind of neat i am starting to learn how to do it one-handed because this one's nice and small but when you get like the big kahuna my small hands can't do that um whether you choose to do a carabiner or not or not <laughs> not um whether you choose to tie directly onto the magnet doesn't matter just make sure that you do it right um, another interesting way that mr. 907 outdoor adventures did he braided a lot pretty much all of our ropes um, that's a good way to make sure your rope it it's sturdy so if we have to winch it it's not gonna snap and that again is why you want that pull force um, if you're an absolute beginner like I was once upon a time um, this is my very first rope. Um, it came with the little loop and it came with a really crummy carabiner. So I got rid of that right away. And there you go. You're ready to go. So the nice thing about doing carabiner versus tying on is that if you are out there and you want to switch magnets, you only have to have one rope and at the end of the day, we're kind of clean freaks and we will soak our rope in OxyClean sometimes, but uh, usually we will put them in laundry bags and put them in our wash machine because for some reason we just hate our wash machine and we want to kill it. So, um, but putting them in laundry bags hasn't seemed to hurt them so far. And we put them on a fast spot cycle to spin <laughs> and that dries them out pretty well so then we just kind of hang them up after that and i mean this rope is over two years old and still in good condition so invest in your equipment and that will be a good investment in your magnet um one of these videos i will go over the best way to clean your magnet all i can really say for now is absolutely make sure it sits out to dry when you're done that is the best way to take care of your magnet at bare minimum so We'll go into future videos as to better maintenance, but bare minimum, dry your magnet, dry your rope.